good time, watch a show? Okay, come on back, come on. You guys want to watch a show? We're going to take a little vacation here. I'm going to take you away from this and uh, give you a little bit of bliss for a few minutes. So, who out there likes photography? Raise your hand. Now, who likes, who likes the internet? Who likes surfing the internet? Who likes surfing? And if you've ever surfed before, raise your hand. And if not, then you know, feel free to ask me anything. I mean, this presentation is basically to show I get a chance to talk about two things I like the best, surfing and photography. And at the same time, I'll talk about how I shot so many images and uh, what equipment I used. But for the most part, it's just basically a fun show so you can you know, take a load off, kick up your heels, and you know, take away from some of this networking and buying and selling, but just stop and have a good time with some photos. So, to give you uh, some background about myself, my name is Mark DiMolanta from Huntington Beach, California. I was born and raised in California, and I've been shooting photography for more than 20 years, but it's only been, I would say, professionally for about the last three years. Um, I've surfed my whole life, and I've grown up surfing, so sometimes if someone's from an area that maybe is not a beach town, or maybe you're landlocked and you've always been fascinated about surfing, I always love to let them know, you know what it's like, what it's about, so when I like to do that in my photos. And the beauty of it all is, for a, for a living now, now I, I, I work for a travel magazine uh, and the Philippine Star newspaper, in which I submit and write and shoot for uh, the travel lifestyle leisure section. So basically, I get to fly around the world, great destinations, I shoot it, and try to tell my story. So this is one of the stories. I, I just came back from the North Shore of Hawaii, and I shot the Triple Crown. And these are a collection of photos from that using Fintex cameras. And the cameras I use most notably are the K100D and the K10D uh, with an assortment of lenses. Uh, for the most part, all the long shots you're going to see, like like these surfing images here, it's gonna be um, we're all shot with long glass. So when you see them throughout the show, it was the, it was the big 600 millimeter lens. And I also shot with the 16 to 45 mid-range zoom. Um, for the portrait shots, I shot with the 77 millimeter 1.8. It's a nice compact. Hey, have a seat. Come on, come and join us. Oh, come on. You can stick around. How about a 10-minute vacation? How about five minutes, maybe? And then this is a nice 43 millimeter. It's a near normal uh, uh, fixed focal length lens, but with the 1.5 crop factor, it acts kind of like a telephoto, a short telephoto. So I won't bore you anymore with my words. Let's look at some photos. So who, who likes to go to Hawaii? Who likes to go over here? All right, raise your hand. All right. Who wants to go to Hawaii right now? Okay, let's go. This is a beautiful sunset on where, where else but Sunset Beach, Hawaii. This was shot with the K10D and the, the DA 21 millimeter. Here's a typical house you'll find on the North Shore of Hawaii. Beautiful big houses. And everybody's a surfer in Hawaii. Not only is everybody a surfer, everybody's a good surfer. And, you know, for, in the surfing culture, you usually start your children off young. Well, this is a uh, my friend Kaylee, she's the daughter of one of my really best, really good friends from college, um, and he's already got them surfing. This was shot with the D K10D and the 43 millimeter limited. And it's nice because in this effect, I stopped down a little bit to about 3.5 to 4 just to give a little bit of light. Um, you can still see what's going on in the background, but I also was able to isolate the subject from the background. Same with this one, this is her brother Ethan. Same setup, K10D with the 43 millimeter. And there's them together, having fun. And if, if ever you have a question about a photo, go ahead and just say, hey, Mark, stop. You know, I want to know how you shot that, or, or what you used, or what was your special technique in that photo. This is a photo of Bobby Martinez about to paddle out at the Bonsai Pipeline before his heat. He's probably meditating. Because when you see the size of these waves, it takes a lot more than meditation for me. OK, so who likes surfing? Raise your hand. Who's, who's actually who's tried surfing? All right, got some surfers in the crowd, all right. Now, I've surfed my whole life, but until this day, I will never surf waves that look like this. It's, it takes a different breed of, breed of man to, to, to tackle these kind of waves. But like I said earlier, this was shot with a K10D, and, and for the long reach, I used the 600mm F4. And here's Kelly Slater coming out of the barrel. And here's one of my favorite photos. It's Mark Hockalupo doing a power gouge coming out of the barrel. CJ Hopkins, deep in the barrel coming out. Who wants to try this? 
I'd like to try it if I, if I knew I was indestructible. <laughs> All right. See, here's, here's the thing. You, you, these guys do it with such grace and skill, but this is what can happen. And the thing I want to note about this, I mean, aside from being a, you know, talking about cameras, is I'd like to impart some of the surfing culture and what goes on with surfing. This is sand. When this wave is formed, it sucks the water from the basin, creates the wave, but he's basically dropping it on sand, so you kind of want to stay high on the wave and make it out, make it back to your friends. And, but actually, he made it okay. Got a little banged up, but he made it okay. This is Ian Wall. And here, this is a Photoshop with a 77 millimeter limited. And the, the, the fun thing about that lens is it can be used as a portrait lens, but you can also sit away from a distance and you can create near normal appearing like a 50 millimeter type view. And then I can get close and shoot portraits. That's also the K10D with a 77 millimeter limited. This one I actually used a little film flash because sometimes when you're shooting in bright daylight, and this has no flash obviously, but Hard lighting can, can really detract from the uh, face detail, so you know, I'll bounce the, the, uh, the flash gun, I'll use the high-speed sync with the diffuser just to spread the light out and spread it evenly. This is Kelly Slater, eight-time world champion, he has a And this is a friend of mine, Tamayo Perra. Perry, he's a Hawaiian. Um, it's a nice little lifestyle shot of him just getting out of the water. This was also the, this one's the 43 millimeter, 1.9, with the K10D. And he's a, this is a surfer from Newport Beach, California, and some funny looking guy. I don't know who that guy is. But, but this is a famous Haleiwa Beach, uh, Ali'i Beach Park on the North Shore of Hawaii. This was, a, this was shot with this lens. My wife actually shot this, this image with this lens. I'm at the K10D. And here's an example of the 600. I, I couldn't 